Hi everybody, it's Greg from the Sentry Box, and today we're going to be looking inside the box of flip ships. Uh, one of the cool things that I noticed right away about this is that uh, no matter which way up the box, it still says flip ships. The rest of the text, it's got some, some way up, some the other way up. <laughs> Neat little thing. Not particularly relevant to the game, but uh, kind of interesting. So, Flip Ships is by Kane Klanko and Renegade Game Studio. And it is a dexterity kind of token flicking game. So, the idea is you're being invaded by aliens, ships are coming down to attack you and you need to send out your own ships and you flick them to try and land them on top of the enemy ships and ultimately try and destroy the mother ship. So inside we have a little Renegade Game Studios catalog uh, showing all of their releases. They've been putting out a lot of stuff lately. We have a rule book right here. Um, it is like 15 pages long, but I've tried this game at the Origins Game Fair. It is a pretty straightforward game. The rules are not complicated, uh, but there are a few little bits and pieces explaining how some of the enemy ships move and attack. And so there's a bunch of different examples throughout here, and then your ships have different special powers depending what level you're at. So there's explanations of all those and some variants at the end there. So your rule book. We have a little punch board of these are the player ships, the tokens. So they're like decent thickness card tokens and you're gonna be kind of flicking them. So the, they need to be fairly sturdy and, and have a little bit of weight to them, which they do. We have another little punch board which has the start player uh, marker here. And I'm actually not sure what that token is. It is a docking bay tile. I can only assume that is one of the special powers related to that. Then we have a few pieces um, of the enemy mothership. So this will get assembled and form a little box and ultimately you try and flick your ships and if they land inside the mothership then that does damage to the mothership and you need to destroy it. We have a bag of baggies, always good. Then we have um, the little chunky red piece of wood is the platform where you lay your token on top and flick it from. And there's a little bit of flexibility as to where that goes. And there's a little sticker sheet. So you can put stickers and have a little kind of fancy artwork around it. And a couple of other little tokens which are tracking how much damage you have taken. And then we have more bits of the mothership it looks like here. Uh, so yeah, two bits of the mothership. And then we have the little board that gets put to track the damage that you've taken and, and dished out. Um, so this kind of forms a long, thin board and then you would have the enemy ship cards along the side and they move down sort of Space Invader style towards you each turn, getting closer and closer until either you manage to win or you get overcome. Uh, we have a little card here. I'm not sure what this card is. Let's see, it is a targeting computer card. I'm not sure. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think you have to sometimes measure the distance from where you landed your ship to the enemy ships, either along the short or long sides. So that's to measure that. And then I have the... These are the cards that have 
the enemy ships on them. So there's going to be a bunch of these out, and every turn the mother ship is going to be spewing more of them out. And they have different stats on them as to how fast they move, if they have shields, uh, how much damage they take, or that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a few different types of artwork on them, depending on the type of ship. Small ones that are kind of fast, and then other bigger ones that take a bit more damage. Um, and then the faster ones, so uh, a big deck of all the different types of enemy ship cards that you get. And there's a, there's a decent little insert in here as well. Um, and one last thing in here, these little cards here are the ship player powers. So you have different colors for the different types of uh, uh, level, so level 1, level 2, level 3 for yellow, orange, and red, and there's different powers that you can acquire that do kind of funky things. Um, this one, for example, if you land on an enemy ship, you may attack an adjacent one instead of the one you landed on. So there's a few special powers that can help you to uh, destroy those enemy ships and save the world. So that is flip ships. That's everything that you get. Yeah, a lot of different bits and pieces. It is a fun, kind of light dexterity game. I enjoyed trying it. And that is what you get if you buy it. So, let's see if I can get that the right way around. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.